Hello guys, Dillo304 here. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be repasting this laptop. I kind of debated recording this because it's a pretty simple task, but I figured, eh, why not? I don't make enough computer videos in general anyway, mostly about phones. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be repasting the E6430. So this thing uh, does run a little bit hot. It runs in the mid-60s usually, which is a little hot, so I doubt it's ever been repasted. The machine's about three years old or almost four now actually but yeah um, we're going to be using arctic silver five so uh, yeah hopefully this will change the temperatures a little bit because again it is a little high so let's go ahead and get into it okay so I decided to change the recording setup a little bit because I need room to actually do this myself so all you're gonna need for this is a number one Phillips screwdriver and of course your thermal paste so go ahead and flip it over. This laptop is very easy to service, as you will soon see. So remove the battery, of course, standard stuff. And then all you got to do is remove two screws. Well, three if you will have them, but one of them, two of them being the hard drive screw. Mine only has one. And then the middle screw for this. Actually, never mind. I take that back. There's also two screws up here. So, once you get this third screw out of here, all you gotta do is then you just, uh, this kind of just comes right off. So it is a little stuck down. But as you can see, this whole cover comes off, and bam, you have access to the entire internals of the machine, which is actually quite nice. One of the things I do like about Dell systems. So, as you can see, I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. That's good. All right, so you can see, you know, here we have our SSD, it's an 840 Evo. Got four gigs of RAM. We have our CPU and the CPU fan. So what I'm going to be doing now is removing the actual assembly here. I don't think I have to remove these screws for the fan, but I could be wrong. But we'll find out. So again, you should remove these in a diagonal pattern. As you can see, you have one, two, three, and four, or three and four here. So I want to loosen these up a little bit in every direction. Once you get it, get them loose. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but the initial the initial process here should be done in this manner. Keep going diagonally or else it'll lock up and you just won't have a jolly old time. So I guess these screws do come out. They have springs on them, so be careful not to lose those, rather. And then there's also the integrated GPU over here for this model. It has the HD4000. So... Okay, maybe that was not supposed to come off. Anyway, um, so then what you're going to want to do is you have your little CPU fan connector here. Just go ahead and give that a yank, and we can pull this whole assembly out like so. So, oops, okay, yeah, there goes the screws. <clears throat> okay, so now looking at this, it looks like this has actually been repasted before. This looks like Arctic Silver 5. Interesting. Anyway, we're going to do it again. And then, as you can see, we also have a thermal pad, which you definitely do not want to lose in any manner. So, let's go ahead and... I'm just going to go ahead and set that back on the GPU die. Go ahead and get my screwdriver out of here. Go ahead and position that back where it needs to be. If you don't have this thermal pad, you will have serious overheating issues. So, just keep that in mind. But again, it does seem like this computer was indeed worked on before. But we're going to do this just because, you know, why not? So, uh, you go ahead and scoot the computer out of the way here a little bit. And we have our heat sink. So, like that. So what you're going to want to do now is you want to take your, your tissue and some alcohol. Preferably 91%, which is what I have now. It's actually a brand new container. So I'll go ahead and poke that, and uh, we will, so basically you just take your tissue and wet a little bit on it to remove the old thermal paste. Another thing about Arctic Silver 5 is it's slightly conductive, so you don't want to use a ton of it, and then so you just want to be make sure you get all of that off of there before you apply your new paste. So now... We're going to clean the die itself and move that, position that in the right place. So let's go ahead and clean the actual die in the same manner. And then after you 
clean it with a tissue here. You may want to get a microfiber cloth out to remove any lint or assorted other things that may have uh, accumulated on the dye itself from removal of the thermal paste that would that could cause issues with uh, conductivity and uh, contact so okay so as you can see the dye is nice and clean go ahead and put my alcohol away and for a laptop you really don't want to use a whole lot of thermal paste because it is a small laptop die so with thermal paste I mean it's been tested that it doesn't really matter that much about how much you use and or the application method but obviously we want to be conservative here so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit just trying to spread it out a little bit I usually do the uh, pea size method when I do this so that ought to spread evenly. That's exactly what we want. Again, thermal paste is pretty forgiving in most circumstances as long as you don't use entirely too much. It's really not gonna make that much of a difference, but I think I used a good amount there. So, what we're gonna wanna do is uh, make sure your thermal pad is back in place. Make sure everything is clean, everything is good to go here. And then go ahead and stick it right back in. I'm going to start from the fan side just to make sure that's nice and seated where it needs to be and then I will go ahead and drop this down. So now that you have it seated you want to go ahead and get your spring loaded screws and start those off. Try not to move it around too much when doing this. It's just not good for the actual paste spreading. As you can see it kind of sucked it down a little bit. So you get your two screw here Stick that in. Get your three screw. Stick this in. And again with screw number four. And there we are. We've successfully repasted the machine. So, after that, go ahead and stick your cover back on and we will go ahead and test it and see how it does. Of course, there's going to be a slight burn in time for the thermal paste before it reaches maximum thermal conductivity. Uh, I think in the case of the uh, Arctic Silver, it's like 200 hours or something, but we're gonna go ahead and see anyway. So I'll be right back. Figured it'd be a good time to show off the boot time on this computer, in case anyone was curious. Should only be 20, 30 seconds with the SSD. It's pretty quick. Yeah, as you can see, you know, we're all good. Have it boot up. There we are. Go ahead and move in. And we will check it out. So, here we have the uh, desktop. And as you can see, I don't, never made a video or anything about this, but some may remember I had a little blotch in the, the corner over here. Dell actually replaced my screen for free, so that was cool. But let's go ahead and run Specky again see if there's any difference yeah so you can see that although the computer has been off and it'll probably go up see we have a pretty decent difference here it's at about 42 44 that may be standard they will have to uh, let the computer warm up a little bit and then see it but already I can see a slight improvement there although I mean that paste didn't really look old I mean I'm not sure who repasted it so I don't know but it seems like we're doing better already as you can see there so anyway that is the uh, little tutorial video sort of on how to repaste your Dell laptop so this is very standard for E6420, E6430, E6440 they're all pretty much the same and even the E6450 even I think so there we are. So you can see it's at 47, 48. So this even it even seems like a slight improvement already. So there you are. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you guys later.